future of abortion in Indiana is unclear. It remains legal for now, but a special le legislative session could bring changes to the law. And that's why one local doctor says he's seeing a surge in inquiries about a certain procedure. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall shows us what many Hoosier men are now considering. Well, I never really made the connection before, but it makes sense. A connection between vasectomies and Roe v. Wade. We both think it's because of the news media coverage and how fresh it is, it's top of mind. Dr. Donald Snyder has been practicing for 20 years, performing nearly 55,000 vasectomies. This is just a local anesthetic. In fact, I use a no needle numbing device to uh, get the uh, patients comfortable. No sedation, oral or otherwise, is, is needed or recommended. And people can go about their business that day as long as their business isn't heavy lifting and strenuous activity. Friday, when Roe v. Wade was overturned, he says inquiries increased significantly. This was just the thing that pushed them to act. He normally gets around 20 patients registered a week, but since Friday, he's had more than 80 men requesting the procedure. That's four times more patients than in prior weeks. In a few recent uh, cases, they have mentioned that Roe v. Wade was, was one of the things that that prompted them to do that, that they already were sure that they didn't want to have any kids, and that did take away one of their options to, to uh, ensure that that happened. Dr. Snyder says his patient demographic has also changed significantly. Prior to this uptick, his patients were men in their 30s with two kids. Now? We're seeing some patients in their 20s. Snyder says due to the influx in patients, he estimates he will snip over 1,000 men this year. Working for you, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. And for anyone considering a vasectomy, one more message from Dr. Snyder. Number one important thing to remember is vasectomy is permanent. There's been some talk and things on social media especially in the wake of Roe v. Wade, that somehow suggests that vasectomy is reversible. That's a problem with the English language. That's like saying it's possible to survive an airplane accident. It is possible. That is a true statement in the English language. It is possible to reverse a vasectomy, but it is not a good plan. Well, Dr. Snyder says it's not a good plan because a reversal attempt is expensive and it doesn't always take. Today we caught up with Governor Eric Holcomb. He spoke about the process for lawmakers once the special legislative session to address Indiana's abortion law begins. I was pleased uh, to learn <clears throat> that we will have a process, uh, a committee process, to fully vet those ideas that come forward. And I would just stress, as I did initially, this is where I remain, um, that I want to make progress where we can in terms of protecting life. The special legislative session to address abortion will technically begin July 6th, but we learned on Wednesday lawmakers won't physically return to the state house to conduct business until July 25th. In Indiana, a special session cannot exceed 40 days. The 40 day limit for the session will begin on July 6th, since that is the technical start of the session, even though lawmakers won't be at the state house then.